you are creating a slideshow because you've got a story to tell. And in this video, I would like to share with you some of my know-how in creating better slideshows. Now, just because I photograph a lot of weddings, I'm going to use weddings as an example, but some of these pointers works well for any type of slideshows that you want to create. So let's jump right in. So I've opened up Photomagico. I've got a collection of photographs that I shot recently of a wedding of Lena and Walid and I'm going to use them as a demonstration for this particular slideshow tutorial. What it is, is basically a collection of about say 130 photos over here. I'm going to select and import it into the timeline. I've already pre-sorted out the photographs during the duration of the photographs in Lightroom uh, prior exporting. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the first slide. So I'm going to make it a title photo. I'm going to resize it, make it center. I'm going to introduce some titles on it. So basically, I'm going to put in the couple's name, Lina and Walid. I always love to use the bride's name first because it's ladies and gentlemen and not gentlemen and ladies. Therefore, I use the bride's name first. I would also want to put in the date of the wedding, which is 27th of August 2019. Now, a little bit of typography, we've got like title and subtitle, so therefore I want this to be a little bit smaller in terms of font. I like to use simple fonts to, for titles. There are some fancy fonts for weddings which works pretty well as well. This is, this is a nice cursive font that works very well for wedding. So that's the title photograph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some simple photo layout over here. Some photos make sense to just be together. So for instance, for this particular photo, I'm just going to not animate it and just make it a left and a right photo. I'm going to copy the geometry, I'm going to move this photo into here, paste the geometry so that it becomes the same size, move it towards the right. I'm going to do that throughout the whole entire slideshow and rearrange all these photographs that matters into the sequence of slideshows that I want. Now try to use simple photography layout. Now I take a lot of inspiration from magazines like the Kinfolk or the Serial if you know the magazine where the photo layout are clean. Now I also take inspiration from picture frames where there are negative space created on the mounting board which then showcase the photograph. Now keeping simple layout highlights the photograph not overcrowding the frame uh, drives attention to the main picture itself. Some photographs just work better in a sequence of events like this, like these photographs here. I love how the mom is putting on the corsage for the dad, while the dad then later on put a bracelet on the bride herself. Now putting photos together works very well, especially when you have a lot of photographs to feature. Um, instead of showcasing each and every slide at three seconds now you showcase at least two photographs in a slide which is great be mindful though you do not want to put too many photographs in one slide because every one of the photographs will be competing for attention i kind of like these few frames together three frames unfold in three different photographs and i like the simple transition fade in fade out over here now the stars of the slideshows are all your photographs now, simple transition give a sense of elegance and timelessness that adds on to the slideshow. What's happening right here is this is one shot of her still holding on to the bouquet. And then the next shot is her throwing the bouquet towards the bridal party. And notice there's some negative space that I'm playing over here. It works pretty all right with just here. And what I did was I just add in another frame on the next frame where you can see the whole entire story. I use simple effects like a can burns where it fades in and fade out or even fade to color where it fades totally blank. Whenever I have a full on can burns effect over here and then when I were to just transition to a slide where there's a lot of white space. So instead of using dissolve, I would like to use fade because what happened is that this is a full photo. What it is is that when I transition to the one with a lot of white space, I actually fade out the photo first before I bring in the new photo. It's just a little bit cleaner that way. Showcase your best work. Now, if the photograph makes it into the slideshow, it must be good. Now, ask yourself if this photograph will evoke emotions, will move the story forward, or even just question if the photo would make a difference for the slideshow. Now, if the answer is no, 
do consider dropping the photo altogether. I've got a competing shot over here and I would reckon this is a better photo than this one so I'm gonna delete this particular photo. I like these two frames over here. Now, as a creator, what we do is we, we sort of like know what photo comes next. But if you're going to watch the slideshow for the very, very first time, what happened is that the audience doesn't know. So to have this photo come out first and then this photo come out next, I think this is a very nice moment to put together. Now, the length of the slideshow is pretty important and it all depends on your core audience and how are they consuming it. Now, if I'm presenting a slideshow during a wedding dinner, I like to keep my slideshow one song length, which is about approximately four minutes. Now, if I'm making a slideshow for the bride and groom's keepsake, where they're going to consume it later or whenever, I can make the slideshow slightly longer, maybe two songs length. They are more invested in the photographs that reminds them of their own wedding day. If the slideshow is too long, then your audience attention would wander away. Now, if it's too short, then it does not do enough to showcase your slideshow. A good slideshow would leave the audience wanting just a little bit more at the end. Speaking of too long, this video is already hitting 10 minutes and I should wrap up. So finally, I source my music from Epidemic Sound through a subscription service that I pay monthly. They are for my YouTube videos. YouTube itself has their own library, albeit it's a little bit limited, but it's a good place to kickstart your slideshow making. To wrap up, here's the world premiere of the slideshow that I've created for this tutorial. They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it Beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moon they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now I wanted you to know I'm almost done with my coffee So with this video, I hope I'm able to share with you some of my know-how in creating a slideshow Hopefully a timeless slideshow five years down the road on YouTube when you watch this video again It is actually still watchable so thank you for tuning in this video smash the like button if you're new to the channel subscribe to my channel 
for more tips and tricks to photography, gear reviews, and my favorite, my afterwork series. Um, until the next video, guys, I'll see you guys.